this is your life, and this is the five and a half thousand seater Royal Albert Hall. Only a handful of top stars can fill this place, and the star that I'm looking for has been celebrating 40 years at the top. Once upon a time, she used to pack saucepans in a Cardiff factory. Tonight, she's packing the Albert Hall. So much of her life and experience is poured into the passionate delivery of her songs that she holds people the world over in the palm of her hand. and I heard the applause and I couldn't resist the opportunity to say indeed tonight, Shirley Bassey, this is your night. Oh. As I said, a smaller but even more affectionate audience here. Uh, your close friend of many years, Bondwan Mills, from Henley-on-Thames. Your daughter, Sharon, and her husband, Steve. Your adopted My son, son Mark. <laughs> oh, you just noticed him. Yes, he... Uh... <laughs> oh, hello, sweetheart. He flew in from Spain, I think, and uh, up from Cardiff, the Bassey clan, sisters oh. Ella, Iris, oh. Marina and twins, Eileen and Henry. Now, they were your very first audience in this terraced house in the Cardiff district of Splot. From here, you won worldwide standing ovations from the 50s through to the 90s. Do you enjoy watching yourself as much as we do? 
Not always, no. Because <laughs> I hear sometimes wrong notes or something, you know, and I wish I could do it again. <laughs> Right, Shirley Bassey, this is your life, and your voice was first heard one dark January day in the Tiger Bay dock area. You were the youngest of the seven children of a Nigerian seaman and a Yorkshire woman. Your mother, Eliza, died 11 years ago. She was your greatest fan, and there you are, pictured together. Your parents divorced when you were just two years old, and that's how old you were when this picture was taken with Sister Marina. You go to Moreland Road School and you give your mum a hand with the domestic chores. Remember, Shirley, you used to polish the front doorstep, no. singing all the while. She went to live in America 45 years ago, flown in from Milwaukee, your sister Gracie. Gracie, are you going to have a chat? <laughs> I was going to ask you if the neighbours appreciated your sister's voice. Oh, yes. They always wanted her to sing for them. And she always obliged and sang her heart out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you impress the landlord at the local pub because he hires you to sing there at the weekends. Your weekday job, as I said earlier, is packing saucepans at a local factory. Your wage, three pounds a week. But you supplement it by singing for two pounds a night at local clubs. You were just 16 then. Did you ever think that one day you would hit the big time? Never. No. That wasn't a big ambition? No, I wanted to be an air hostess. I wanted to be a nurse until I saw blood. <laughs> And the air hostess bit was provided, you had to speak two languages, and my Welsh was not good enough. <laughs> it could have been very useful. So I useful. lost out on those two jobs. <laughs> well, you made up for it, really. Uh, of course, these days, the glamorous Shirley Bassey is a grandmother, right, Sharon? That's right, and she calls our sons the three little men in her life. That's Luke, Sebastian and Nathan. And today they were joined by a young woman, Mark's daughter, Tatiana, and captured in a musical moment by a surprise cameraman. I don't want nobody else. I love you. She's lying. There will be somebody else and that's true. She's lying. So you'll always be my friend. Hi, Nan. Not bad, are they? Hope you've got it all on film. See you. And he certainly will. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Now, where were we? Uh, just starting your career. Now, in 1955, you were offered a part in a touring review. Do you remember the title of that? Uh, Memories of Jawson. Exactly. You were spotted by the band leader and showman Jack Hilton. An appearance on Sunday night at the London Palladium follows. And in 1957, your career is underway with your first number one in the charts. Each one warmer than the one before. 